Matthew Bryan, the home you see behind me is the site of many violations issued by King County itself. They stretch back years. It's been condemned, but not always unoccupied. Neighbors here have complained about squatters and two particularly aggressive dogs. They tried to get the attention of King County, but it wasn't enough. I don't understand. This could have completely been avoided. You know, this lady was literally going for a jog at like 11 a.m. This is normal stuff that we should be able to do. It was a brutal dog attack that nearly killed an Auburn woman just out on a jog. She's had multiple surgeries to try to repair her arm. Uh, the nature of that type of injury is just like so bad. You know, when your bones are crushed by a dog, that putting that back together is like not a simple process. We brought this story to you last February. This week, her family has filed a lawsuit against King County. Her medical bills right now are in the seven figures. She has future medical bills and care needs that are going to be in the seven figures. The suit claims this home here was filled with squatters, that the county knew about it and even knew there were aggressive animals, but never kicked the people out of the county condemned home until it was too late. It, the problem just got bigger and bigger. I mean, you know, it's bad when people driving down the street are stopping my husband and I when we're standing outside. Has anybody called to complain, <laughs> complain about the house next door? When Michelle Proven saw the dogs go in, so did she, running toward the attack to try and pull them off. I thought she was dead at one point. We couldn't get the dogs off. The, the, the other neighbor tried as well. Somebody has to do something, and you can't just stand by and watch. And if it were you being attacked, you would probably want someone to try and help you. The attack was more than enough for the Purvis family. A few doors down, they decided to move out of the neighborhood entirely. We originally did not want to live in an HOA community, but now we changed our mind because at the neighborhood that we're at now, they would not allow or tolerate what was going on in that neighborhood. And I don't think any neighborhood should tolerate that at all. A laundry list of things that was happening at the house. I mean, the dog attack was a major thing, but that's one thing out of many other dangerous situations that were happening in that house. No one should be living in fear being around a house like that. Everybody knew that they were here. We know that they were doing things that were not legal. Remarkably, in 2021, King County Animal Services issued a removal order of the animals and called them, quote, a threat to public safety. Even initially taking custody of the dogs, it's unclear how they ever made it back to this home filled with squatters. The sheriff said they tried to contact the homeowner, but they weren't able to get a hold of them. So, you know, oh, we can't do anything. If she doesn't sign just a trespass order, then we can't do anything. So. Apparently, everybody falls back on, well, you know, these are the procedures. So unless you have all your I's and dotted and your T's crossed, then nobody's obligated to do anything. The county condemned the home long ago. They cited an overflow of trash, no running water, and fined the owner several thousand dollars all before this dog attack happened. Her attorney told me today the neighbors even documented drug use and sent evidence to the county who failed to act on it. Now neighbors say since the dog attacked, the county has kept this home squatter free. From Auburn tonight, Zach Anders, Fox 13 News.